Now if we wish to ask ourselves what is the precise rate at which the depth is changing at a given time, clock time t, we begin by thinking that our delta y over delta t is, as we found, 6t minus 34 plus 3 delta t. Uh, that's for any t and any delta t, so we can find the average rate between any two clock times. We take the limit as delta t goes to zero of delta y over delta t, letting delta t shrink away, and it's clear that when delta t has shrunk away to nothing, we uh, have the expression 6t minus 34. Delta t doesn't affect the 6t or the negative 34, it affects only this, and this term shrinks away, leaving us with this. We call this dy dt, the derivative of y with respect to t. Okay, that's the term that we use in calculus, the derivative of the function. Okay, so we say dy dt is 6t minus 34, and that's a derivative of the function 3t squared minus 34t minus 8 the original depth function. There are other ways of writing this derivative. We sometimes write y prime. That's y with an apostrophe read y prime. And that equals 6t minus 34. Uh, this says the same thing this does. This is a term, uh, a notation that can be interchanged with this one. And sometimes we even emphasize the functional aspect and say y prime of t equals 6t minus 34. Any one of these can be used and they can be used in any combination. They're all valid ways of saying the same thing.